And welcome back to another Minecraft episode with Storm's Ghost. We are back on Kingdoms of Colovia. This episode will be very long. We will be working on the keep and finishing up the castle today. So I hope you sit back and enjoy the time lapse. And I'll see you again on a first person show around.
And welcome back to Minecraft. As you can see from the time lapse, we have finished the keep, which is right over there. Off camera, what I've been doing is working on a terrain. Generally, as you can see, well, as you can see, I cleared out all this, but the terrain that's over there is basically Minecraft generated terrain. But it also has conquest terrain generation in there too, which allows the trees and plants and stuff like that. But I'm not particularly particularly happy with it. What I wanted to do was come in and create my own terrain using the layers and everything that I wanted to put in, but this will have uh, flowers and plants on here, but as you can see this is where the regular block height is, and if this would be the next block up, but I wanted the terrain to be layered going up to make it look more realistic, as well as coming down to like an eroded uh, shore here. So what we're going to do is head on over to the castle and view everything in first person. Just a quick uh, walkthrough of what is finished. This is also the path that is done. Doing the layering allows many different uh, dips in everything in the path without making it look too blocky at least. At least in my mind. And this is... I haven't done this part yet, but this is what I have completed. So let's head on over to the keep, and we'll be there in just a second. And here we are approaching the keep. In the last episode we did the throne room, there is now an entrance from the throne room from behind the throne into the keep itself, but what we will do is start off at the bottom floor and work our way up to each floor and then at the end we will go out back. So coming on down into the basement of the keep, the cellar, we have a small cellar wine, wine cellar, as well as food storage here for the cook. And this is the eating area for the cooks as well. It's small castle kitchen because it's not really meant for big feet. This is meant more for personal use of the lord and the castle. Um, basically the people who work in the castle too. So coming back here. Let me just equip while I'm here a torch. That way we can see a little better. And I'll go into this mode. Then you don't have to see it, but you can see the light. So this is the bedroom of the cooks. There are two of them here. They have it's pretty basic. There's small seating as well as where they hang their clothing. There isn't really much to it. Their working area is here, so it's like they're basically down here all the time except for if they have three times they'll go up and walk around maybe go to the main storage room under the um, scholars hall and here's the bathroom for the cook it has the toilet and the the, the garderobe and place to wash hands as well as the kitchen that's out here. A little area to make bread, a grilling section here, and a place to store firewood for the for lighting up the uh, stove. And then with their personal eating section. So, coming out of the basement, we come back up Originally there was just going to be one stairway, but if they were ever under attack 
it would make people up there trapped. So there are now two stairways, one on this end here, which is the common stairway, which everyone generally has permission to use up to like a certain level. But then coming back to here, we'll show this armory first. This is the small guard changing room. They'll come down here, change into their arms, grab their weapons that they use, and head on out for patrol. It's pretty dark in here, but I think it looks pretty well. Coming out here, there's another hallway that wraps around. And this is the family's personal eating area. They have a couch to relax on. This is their living and eating area. A small bookcase for personal books. Their favorite. Chairs by the fire. Places for the servants to sit on either side. And a dumbwaiter, which I didn't show down at the um, kitchen, but this is how they would bring their food up. Through the dumb waiter, the servant would grab it from here, bring it over here, place it down on the table for them, and they would eat in here. Then coming around is the war room. And here would be the council. He would, the lord would be in charge of so many different towns and areas around here that he would call maybe the aldermen from each area to come in and maybe his head knights and stuff to come in and they would plan defenses if they're under attack or offensive if they're asked to um, if they're asked to basically plan up war strategy by the king or emperor they'd come in here and help and prepare before they head out. Coming back through here, we have the entrance from the throne room, and it would just go right back into the keep. Okay, so heading back on into the keep itself, this is the secondary stairwell. This only goes up to the living quarters of the um, family, but on the second floor, we'll start off and go on into the guard captain. This is the personal guard, the guard captain living quarters. It's pretty elegant, rising to such higher rank. You'd have more prestige and more things he's able to do in his own room inside the keep. As well as a view out back as well. So leaving here, we come on into the library where the Lord would come up here and probably read or maybe even the steward would come up here and read and they could look up any laws, they could read any book or even the kids and someone pulled up a chair here to the back window Coming around to this hallway, we have in here the small council room. This room is basically like more important members of the Lord war planning area where only specific people, the heads of his banners would come and plan and talk here. The, steward would probably be in here, the castle steward, the captain of the guard, and any generals in the army would be here. They would come from their towns with their banners. I would come up here. So it's a small meeting room. 
I thought it looked pretty good at when finishing this up. Then in here is the steward bedroom, the castle steward. Has a pretty 1 8 room for himself, too. Well, as a view looking out to the garden. And this leads right on out to the balcony. Let's go up this way, the main stairway, which leads up to the next level of the castle. And this is the living quarters, the uh, residence of the castle. In here we have the handmaiden's room. They would be here to help the lady of the castle get ready for the day, help her get changed, help her do her morning task, basically personal service. Since they aren't the most um, wealthiest landowners in the kingdom, they do have quite a they do have a small amount of personal servants. In here would be the nursery. We have a crib and the place for where the person who looks after the baby would sleep here. Probably sit with the baby here and the crib here. Not gonna go in there yet, we're gonna go around. We're gonna this right here is the waiting area for the servants who are personally attending to the Lord and Lady would wait here until they're called for specific tasks or if they go to like a different section of the if they're up here they would wait here, and then if they go to a different section of the castle, they would follow them. We're just going to skip a room, and we're going to come to the children's room. They have an area to play cards, and a spot to read, as well as a couple of beds here, with more beds being able to be brought into as the family grows. And this is the back stairwell, since there isn't a reason to keep going up for up even higher into the castle, we can, this is where this stairwell ends. And if you want to get up even higher, you can go up to the main stairwell, which will bring us up to the next level. And this right here is the Lords and Ladies room. They have their own seating area as well as their bedroom. In here is the Lord changing room. He comes in here, gets dressed for the day. His personal assistant or steward or squire would be over here waiting for him to get dressed behind there, maybe handing him his sword, or polishing his shoes while waiting for all his personal clothing in here. And then coming across is the ladies' changing room, where all her personal clothing in here as well. The uh, handmaiden would be right in this section right here while she gets changed behind the privacy screen. And we're going to keep going up to the next level. Now this is where this stairwell ends here. There is another level up above, but there's another way to get up from here. Up here is the laundry room for the castle. They bring the clothing of the captain of the guard, steward, lords and ladies clothing. They bring them up here. 
and do the laundry up here. And then this would be the laundry person's bedroom and I forgot to put a bed bath. So that will... Let me just quickly fix that. Oh, there wouldn't need to be a bed right there anyways because of the fireplace. So what I'll do is I will put the chair there, maybe add in another bed. Right on over there. And... Okay, room is all fixed. So, yes, this is where the people who do the laundry, this is where they sleep here, their personal room. And then this is more servants' rooms in here. And somebody moved out here, there's no longer bedding there. When someone moves in, they will sleep here. In this section is the common room where they where the servants can relax and play games, socialize up in here. Gonna skip there for now. And then here's the servants dining hall. They'd bring the food up, unfortunately, up a lot of stairs. And they'd be eating in here. And here is the privy for the servants. It's pretty communal back then in medieval times. They would all have to be going next to each other. And coming through here is the guard room. This is where the personal guard would be sleeping here. There's three of them, then the captain. Now, personal guards is different than the castle guards. Personal guards is the lord, uh, personal bodyguard. Well, castle guards would be over in the barracks, and they would be in charge of guarding the whole castle. Well, these guys are in charge of just guarding the lord and lady and the family. So, back to the area that we skipped. We are coming into the seamstresses area, the castle seamstress, the person who makes the quilt, basically repairs the flags, updates any banners or anything. Um, this is her living area. It looks like there was a second one here, but they left. And this is the seamstress workshop. People can come in here and wait while something's getting fixed, whether it's pants or anything at all, like they can make banners and rugs and whatever needs to be mended or if so, this would be made in this section here. Now this is the stairway up to the next section. Coming up we reach, it isn't quite the tip top, but it's getting there. This is, you can tell from the um, wall that's no longer painted or anything, it's just bare wood. Let's see, let's go this way. We have a sleeping area next to storage. And more storage, it's mainly storage up here where they would be keeping Things that may not be used as much. Another eating area, socializing area for the people that live up at this section of the castle. And if you notice, there's no glass. 
They wouldn't have put glass up this high. It's now just shutters. If you get cold, you close the shutters. And more sleeping for the servants. And this is servants laundry room. This is for all the servants. The laundry would be up here, water would be poured in here. And they do their laundry up here. As well as more storage in here. And another bedroom. And another privy as well. So now we're heading up to the final level. This is the attic of the castle. And yes, there is more storage and some people do sleep up here. But it's mainly just storage and people just keeping track of what's up here and maybe the servants who job is to just basically ma maintain the castle would be staying up here. And I thought building a um, deck like this would be pretty cool which would add in more um, storage as well as a sleeping bed for somebody up here. But it'd probably be either very cold or very warm up in this section of the castle since there isn't really any um, fireplaces. But the chimneys do run through the walls so the heat from the chimneys may still keep it warm enough in the winter. And they could always close the shutters too, which would help as well. So we're going to go back down to the very bottom. And I'm going to show you outside of the back of the garden. So I'll be there in just a second. And we are back. You can see we're at the main entrance of the castle. We did not go this way on purpose because this was added on after the time lapse. Um, this is the way in and out of the back garden. And someone does sleep down here. Not really sure who. But if this wall is ever breached, they can burn this bridge up, knock this bridge down, and that is still a protected area of the castle. It'd be hard to break down this door to get in, but if this wall was ever breached, there's still defense to the castle. Um, this section of the garden is more for leisure and relaxation of the family of the castle. They'd be out here with books, reading, maybe just talking to their guards, servants, and just general relaxation out at this area. Coming through here is the guard house, the back guard tower. There are some guards that are able to sleep back here. Maybe if they're pulling a long shift, someone could sleep and someone else could stay on watch. But they do have a um, area to relax as well. As it would probably get boring and this is most likely peacetime in the kingdom. There wouldn't really be that much to be guarding against. but. It's donated just in case. Coming on the outside of the guard tower, we have the um, part of the garden that's for vegetables. If the castle is ever under siege, 
they would want to have a way to still grow food without having to worry about maybe smuggling things in. So this is the vegetable garden. They have some carrots, some beetroots, and some cabbage as well. And the gardener's um, storage area is in here as well where the freshly picked things are in here till they bring them inside for the cook. But down through here is a area of the castle that's known as the Sally Port. This is used when the castle is under siege and people are attacking and the Lord needs a quick way out. they can get out through the sally port and following the small path down there is a canoe for them to escape so yeah we're just flying around getting another look at it beside what was built in the time lapse the castle is finally finished you can see what I'm working on over here is the terrain I'm getting that ready my original plans for the next episode were starting to build the um, next town close by, but I might have a couple, like a village over here, and a small village over there, and a town over here, with probably farming in between. So, with the castle complete, I hope you enjoyed this castle build. We are going to continue building the kingdom. This has only just begun, so stay tuned to keep watching for more. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I hope you liked the video. Hit that like button, that thumbs up. Let me know you like it. Leave a comment. Give me your ideas. I do appreciate feedback and I do enjoy reading them. And to those who have commented, thank you. And until the next one, bye-bye.